This is the third entry in my new devlog series. In this series, I will mark progress about all the new things that happen in my game. Also, more than 50% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you enjoy the content that I make, be sure to hit that red button. You can also unsubscribe every anytime you want, yada yada yada, let's go on to the video. To start things off, I'm going to start the exact same way that I started uh, last video, which is basically saying that I've polished my game even more. The polish that I took this time was more in the houses that stay in the background, but also in the camera. It's not quite as I want it to be, but it's definitely better and less no and causes, and causes less nausea, obviously. And even more polish comes from the fact that I've added a little bit of level design, just a little platform over there, over there. And I did that be mainly because there was this part right here that required some very strange tech, which involves you having to hold left and right simultaneously while doing a dash that for some reason goes upwards. I'm going to change that so that when you press up that happens rather than when you press left and right. That was some really really hard tech and I didn't want my game to be way too hard to start because that will take the fun away from these levels. And, and speaking of level design, here's a new tile set. If I hadn't had enough with tile sets already in the last video, here is a new place called Rainy Fields. It's kind of like your typical grassland except the twist is that the whole time is raining. So yeah, I don't know how original that concept is, I just kind of thought of it. But hey, there's an exclusive enemy to this area which is the slime, inspired by Luna Lane slime. But as you can see it's really broken right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's the small that's the small things that I wanted to get get on before we get into the bigger stuff. For the bigger stuff, I have the new five gameplays. What I wanted to touch on are the metroidvania and the rhythm gameplays. The metroidvania because it's still just the base of the game but it kinda controls like you want to, it controls a bit like like old castlevanias where when you jump you cannot control which direction you go like in a normal platformer but as a change of that but I wanted to make the, it a bit more responsive so that when you jump, you can you cannot you, you still can't turn to the other direction, but you can come to a full stop in the there if you press the opposite direction. And obviously, what's a Metroidvania without a combat? So yeah, here's a stick. Attack with it. Attack with it. And as for the rhythm gameplay, well, it's a rhythm gameplay. You just tap right buttons at the right time according to the beat. Um. But, and yeah, I actually want to do this one good because the version that is right now doesn't match up with the, with the music completely. And what I want to do is like have a cutscene in the background, which you can then unlock to see it without, without, without having to worry about the thing. And yeah, I want to make this fun and not feel like just get another Another cutscene place in the background, quick time event, do the thing or die. I want to actually make it more entertaining, like for example there's this drum game that's Japanese exclusive, I don't know how it's called, and there's obviously the DDR games which are really fun, and yeah, I t I'm taking inspiration from those games. And hey, what has a Metroidvania 2? It has cutscenes. I mean, you, you are really new. The text boxes now look a bit, a little bit different. They actually used to look differently before the game came out. Like, really differently. But, I don't know. I kind of like this design, but I feel like it's, it's missing a few things. Especially because ads. And there's also some parts in which I have to fix that. The text goes way too outside of the margin where it should be, so yeah, I have to fix that. This whole video is me having to fix things. Well, I guess that's a game over for me. Here's a little tease of the game over. You've already seen it once, and, and my a new game over is being worked on video. You can go watch that video if you want, it's just 20 seconds long, who cares. 
and yeah and this is actually a little tease to my newest video overall like for example this sheet of paper which is a storyboard hmm wonder what that could be for but hey subscribe and hit that bell or else trees will never grow again in my game because IRL trees grow like one per second or something